Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can upload files with LiveWire from JavaScript. You will typically need this when you are using some kind of JavaScript library that does something with files. As an example, we will use the HTML to canvas JavaScript library and use it to create a screenshot. We will then build the functionality to upload, preview and store that screenshot with LiveWire. We are only using HTML to canvas because it makes for a good example. I don't actually recommend using it for making screenshots if you need highly accurate screenshots. To get us going, I've already created the required files and included HTML to canvas in the project. Let me show you. I've created a LiveWire component called screenshot example. The only thing this LiveWire component does at the moment is rendering our view. In the view, I've gone ahead and created an Alpine component called screenshot. And we have a button that calls the function take screenshot on that Alpine component. As you can see here, I've already included the HTML to canvas CDN. And this is the take screenshot method. That method uses HTML to canvas to create a canvas of the body and then transforms that canvas into a blob, which we will try to store with LiveWire. At the moment, it outputs the knuckle sole. Let's have a look. Let's press the button. And as you can see, we now have a blob object and that's the blob that we'll be trying to store with LiveWire. To do so, we'll be using LiveWire's JavaScript upload function. So let's remove our console log. Let's add the function. We'll give it the name of the public property we'll want to store our blob to. And we'll pass our blob. Then on the LiveWire component, we'll add that public property. Public screenshot. And we'll use the width file upload straight. Refresh the page. We'll press the button again. And now if we check out our LiveWire component, it actually has a temporary uploaded file object stored on our public property screenshot. While we're at it, let's show a preview of the screenshot to the user. So we'll head back to our view and we'll start showing the preview of the screenshot here. We'll only want to do that if we actually have a screenshot. So we'll wrap it in a blade if directive and then we'll add our image tag here. Let's make it a little square. And then here we'll get the temporary URL from the screenshot property. Temporary URL. Let's see if that works. And it does. To finish up, let's try and actually store the screenshot. We'll copy this button and we'll call a log for our function. Let's call it submit. Let's rename this button and let's call it save screenshot. We'll now move to our live our component and build that function. We'll use the LiveWire convenience method to easily store our screenshot. Store as, let's tell it which directory to store the screenshot in, and let's give it a name. My screenshot. And let's unset the screenshot variable after we've stored the screenshot. That should do it. Let's refresh the page. Take a screenshot, save the screenshot, and we should now have the screenshot in our storage. And there it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video.